Hey guys, how are you doing today? So right now I'm in Chicago, Illinois at a place called Graceland Cemetery. Now if you guys are unfamiliar with my channel or if this is your first time here, we visit a lot of interesting cemeteries. We do famous grave tours, we do filming locations, all kinds of interesting things. But one of the things I love to do is haunted legends and lore. And there is no better place to do that than right here at Graceland Cemetery in Chicago. Now today I'm going to show you one of the most interesting things here. I'm going to tell you the story about it. I'm going to let you see it. And then I'm also going to do a famous grave tour here that is not going to be part of the same video. So if this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to check out other videos. But let's get into it. Now I want to start by saying that we are only a couple of blocks away from Wrigley Field, one of the most legendary Chicago spots. And this cemetery is full of Chicago history, haunted legends, lores, haunted things, um, notable names, businessmen, politicians. I mean, this is a, it's, it's a very peaceful cemetery too, despite its location. We're only a few miles away from O'Hare Airport, and we are also surrounded by train tracks, so it's, as peaceful of a place as this seems, it is a very noisy place. And there's, you know, just like in the movie The Blues Brothers, if you guys have ever seen that, how often does the train go by? So often you won't even notice it. That is definitely the case for this place. And I'm trying to film around the train so it's not uh, so noisy for you guys. But the reason we're here is because I want to show you guys and tell you the story about a statue here a very famous statue it's called eternal silence and it's right over here and this is a statue it's a work of art and it's also a grave marker and it's a grave marker of a man named dexter graves which is kind of ironic considering a grave and the name of graves but there is a lot of legend and lore about this now, it's, it's done in bronze, and it was done by an artist named Laredo Taft. Now, one of the interesting things here that people say is that the left arm of this statue, people claim that it will rise and lower depending on what time of day you're here. Now, I don't see how that's really possible, but, I you know, who am I to say one way or the other? But one of the other things about this um, statue right here, you can see that there's a big uh, patch right here where there's no grass. That's because a lot of people come here and stand in front of this thing. And it's hard to show you guys, but this thing is probably a good 15 feet tall. But it is said that if you come over here and you look into the eyes of eternal silence, that you will be able to see how you are going to die. Now, whether or not that's real, that's, you know, Everybody's going to have a different opinion of it. Um, nobody really seems to know 100%, but it is a very famous legend here. And there is a little bit more to this. Now, it is said also that this is possibly the inspiration for the blue ghost on the Ouija board. But for a little bit more on this particular um, grave site, Dexter Graves, and hopefully you guys can hear me. There are a lot of sequoias here that are very, uh, very loud and kind of obnoxious. But um, now this is Dexter Graves. Now he came to Chicago in 1831. He was one of the original settlers. It says on the back of this that this was erected by Henry Graves, son of Dexter Graves, one of the pioneers of Chicago, consisting of 13 families arriving here July 15th, 1831. Now they came from Ohio and this was uh, built as kind of a memory of his death. Now, 1831, that was before the city of Chicago was really the city of Chicago. And I'm not sure in what year they created this. If any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments. But this is eternal silence. It's just a very interesting statue with a very haunting history. A lot of people have very interesting stories to tell about this. But like I said, it, it said that if you look into the eyes of this statue, you'll be able to see your own death. So take a good look at that. I'll zoom in. Let me know what you see.
Now, since we're here, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about some other uh, locations in the cemetery. And I'm probably going to shoot about four videos while I'm here. I'm going to do a famous grave tour. I'm going to show you guys some more haunted things. And I'm also going to show you, this place is very famous for its architecture. And I'm going to show you some really interesting stones here too. Now, like I said, it's a very historic cemetery. There's some very old stones here. And... If you guys like cemetery tours, be sure to check out my channel because I've done cemetery tours at various places in Chicago, um, around the country. We do a lot of Hollywood grave tours, a lot of famous graves, things like that. So um, yeah, if that if that's your thing, this is definitely a place for you guys to, to uh, check out. But um, I just wanna show you guys up for, now this is a really big cemetery too. And it's a fascinating place to come and visit if you guys ever get a chance. It's a very busy cemetery usually. Right now it's about 8 in the morning. Um, there's a lot of people that ride bikes in here, walk their dogs on the trails. It's not just a cemetery where people come and, and mourn loved ones or uh, come and check out historic graves. People come here and they exercise. And it's, you know, people kind of use this as a kind of a park. But check this out. This is one of the uh, interesting graves here. I'm not sure whose this is because I actually just noticed this coming in. They have some construction in the front of the cemetery today, so I had to take a different way back here. So we ended up going by some uh, some different stones that I've never noticed before. But this says Franklin Parmalee, 1864. Now I'm not sure the history on this guy, but uh, this is a, a beautiful monument. But there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming up from the cemetery. Like I said, I'm going to do several videos here. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys Eternal Silence, give you a little bit of the story and the background on it. But if this is your first time here, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, like it, share it if you feel up to it. And I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Chris Nakasuka, who is uh, our newest channel member. So thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. And if any of you guys are curious about supporting the channel or um, following us on any kind of social media, all the links are down in the description. So thanks for joining us today, guys, and have a great day.